Hi guys, this is Merv, Bonsai with Merv, uh, uh, back with you. What we're going to do today is show you an air layer. What is an air layer? N under normal circumstances when you are reproducing a plant you make cuttings. And you stick the cuttings in and you grow them. Air layering I have found is a, another method that I find is uh, a lot more basic for me because I like to, uh, what we're going to do by air layering is we're going to grow roots onto the branch itself before we separate it. And what I'd like to do is show you how to do that. You can do this on any of your trees that are growing and you have a branch and you want to duplicate a part of that tree, you can do an air layer. Okay? So, what I have here is a uh, Japanese maple, good blood, which is doing beautifully. It is tall. It does have a volunteer next to it, a Acer Rub Rum, Red Rum Maple, that uh, I normally allow them to grow. I separate them afterwards. But uh, let's get into some air layering. Okay, for air layer purposes, what you need is sphagnum moss. Okay, now take a handful of sphagnum and put it into this bucket maybe a little bit more. Okay, put it into this bucket. Now, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of water and wet my sphagnum. Sphagnum moss is nice and wet. Now, I have a secret ingredient that I'm going to add to the water and sphagnum moss. Super Thrive. I, as you can see, I use a lot of Super Thrive. It's an excellent product, a little bit expensive, but and take a cap full of Super Thrive and pour it in there. Okay? Under normal circumstances, four drops of Super Thrive per gallon is sufficient. I'm doing a cap full and I'm going to mix it up good. Alright, now I'm mixed up well. Now, what I'm going to do is take a pair of shears. This is, see I'm looking at this plant and if I cover this up here is a perfect bonsai. Right here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put the air layer in this area, right here. Okay? And to do that, to create the natural spot, I'm going to take that branch off, leave this open right here. Okay, with my shears I'm going to cut the bark only. I'm not going to cut the total branch, just the bark in a circle. And then about an inch up, I'm going to do that again. Just cut the bark. Okay, see this way, I can slice this fork downwards and actually take the bark off. The cambium layer is coming off. Whoops, it doesn't want to separate the way it should. Let's do it again, cut a little bit deeper. And here too a little bit deeper. I want to cut the cambium layer. Kill the cambium layer off. See by doing that, in essence we are separating the top of the plant from the bottom. We are stopping the growth process. On the top section. And I'm taking it off totally, a total ring. And so, in fact, if you leave this plant, just let it sit like this. 
This is dead. It will die. Okay? That's where we're at. You see that? A total ring removed. Now, I'm going to take a piece of tin foil. Now, as you know, tin foil has a shiny side and a dull side. And what we're going to do is going to put the dull side out, the shiny side in. All right? That's so that when the sun hits it, we're not reflecting and gathering up too much heat. I'm going to put some sphagnum moss into here. Set it, set it up so that that moss totally encircles the uh, cutting nice and snug make sure the bottom is snugged out properly and make sure the top is snugged out properly and that is closed in and we have it encircled with sphagnum that is uh, enhanced with Super Thrive and moisture and what I'm going to do is put it in a semi shaded area so that every day or every other day when I water I make sure that I water it so that water will seep in through the top of the um, tin foil and it'll leak out and this way it'll keep that sphagnum moist and that sphagnum with the Super Thrive and every once in a while I'll mix Super Thrive in with my moisture and I'll spray it so that the Super Thrive gets in there. Super Thrive goes directly to the root system and enhances the root system and that's why I use the Super Thrive so that it would force more roots. Okay? This should take anywhere from six to seven weeks so bear with me by the end of May we're uh, three, uh, towards the end of May we are going to open it up and let's see what it's going to show us. Okay? I appreciate you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. YouTube and Facebook. And please be with us. Have a great day. Bye now.